safer islands in the Maldives. To begin the ceremony, I would kindly request the Minister of State for Environment, Climate Change and Technology, Dr. Abdul Nasir, to give the opening remarks. State Minister, Dr. Abdul Nasir. Ambassador Her Excellency Georgi Midori, um, the uh, Japanese Taipa team members, officials from uh, relevant government agencies. Asalaamu Alaikum and a very good morning to you all. Um, let me begin by uh, saying a few words in Kizahi and then I will continue in English. I'm a first time I seminar. Vadan did come to Ka, me, Uriha, Sarkaru, Kama, Bethra, Varabut, Sukudano, Adi, Darudanova, Council of the Bethuna, Council of Hu, Nikamuga, me, near the Hendu, Nijasa, the Barodan, the Bahuria, Bethuna, Varabut, Sukuria. In Gordan one, Algon Mimi Bava, Badalumaki, Nihar Hingabunda, Japan Sarkar Gehiga, Global Climate Congress, Ehiga, Sarkar Hingabunda, Kujakamahua. Uh, building climate resilient safer islands in the Maldives. Me Mashruge Wara Muhimu by component in what me near the Hendun me me fatta femina galun baskuran masiki kurani. A uh Bihiraja Kurvitava Musuma and Nabadataka Behegotum in Emebudu Kujimaki Radha Shanganamunda Badataka Radha Subukun the Shanganamunda Badataka uh Mikankama argument Hayarwang me Mosuma and Abadutakum Aragon event at the Ekama Tayar Fava, Bilum very Rataka Tayar Kuru, E. Me Mashu, me project to get M. Muhimu, Yenmaki, a serifa to get not a coastal zone name, Kia zone get Bilum very can hardena for me. Have you made our women become a behegotum, me, our women, me, a doubting me Karataka Hasako, Mikama Gule, me ministry planning at the LGA. NDMA, Adi Huriha, Lamotolga, Algomeni, Mashur, Hinga by Pasta Huge, by Rathuge, who had the Fumbadan during Kutaka, for a Bushiku, and I will not meet Kurang, me near to get Badalumga, me Mikama, the Hegu, Kula, Daira, the Mashara Kuri, Adi Algom, Mikurang, Limiki, to Rangala, me Tibetful Nabis, me Fahumba, Mingara, Huriha, Swaltake. I mean, do me coastal zone management have the Hegotum Hasa for me doing Baba Seminar, Kavasi Seminar in Tibetan name Aluma, and we began Dan Kamuka room meet for him. I'll be continuing in English. Uh, we are gathered here today to uh, discuss um, a component of a project that we are running uh, uh, on building climate resilient, safer islands in the Maldives. Uh, this is a project um, which is uh, funded and uh, implemented by by the government um, and the uh, the government of Japan and the Maldives with assistance from the climate the global climate fund and uh, the main components if, of this project include uh, establishment of a coastal zone management uh, system uh, for the Maldives uh, and also implementation of uh, coastal protection measures in selected islands in Lamatol and, and Adrisol. Uh, and uh, we uh, also anticipate for um, people of these islands and others even to, uh, to be taught uh, to uh, build capacity on beach maintenance and beach uh, uh, development uh, in the Maldives, which is an important uh, part of uh, our, our daily life and climate uh, invariably, uh, climate change is uh, uh, leads us to um, bring uh, changes to the coastal systems, especially coastal erosion through beach management. And this is one of the main pro main components of main objectives of this project is to uh, increase uh, resiliency and safety against uh, climate change through the implementation of coastal protection measures. So. The first seminar that we have today on integrated coastal zone management will be um, will be very important for uh, an important component under under this project for uh, sectoral government agencies to um, discuss uh, and understand what we mean about 
coastal issues and how we can through different agencies through disaster risk reduction and also planning stages coastal zone management may be a concept which is very uh, common to um, uh, a lot of um, countries throughout the world but uh, it is obviously very uh, a, diff a very a very different um, uh, different um, framework when it comes to different uh, countries and especially for small island developing states such as the Maldives uh, we have we have a lot to learn from what we can do because we live uh, in an area which is truly coastal for in many purposes and so uh, in order to um, prepare us for uh, climate change uh, increased uh, storms increased uh, wave action increased deep beach erosion uh, we, we need to work together Se sectors need to work together uh, on building resilience uh, against climate change so I sincerely hope that uh, today's seminar will be a, a founding um, uh, will be laying the foundation for what we intend to do under uh, these very important projects in the coming years and that the relevant agencies here would be able to uh, discuss and uh, provide input for both the project team and the ministry on how uh, we could uh, we could work together to um, work on um, a coastal zone management uh, plan for the Maldives. Um, I wish you all a very good day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Minister. May I now kindly request the Ambassador of Japan to Maldives, Her Excellency, Mrs. Takeuchi Mijori, to give the opening remarks. State Minister of Environment, Climate Change and Technology, His Excellency uh, Dr. Abdullah Nasir, representatives from uh, MECCT, MNPI, MNDA, EPA, NMS, MMS, LGA, distinguished guests. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. I'd like to extend my warmest gratitude to State Minister Nasir and all the distinguished guests for attending this seminar. Thank you for taking time from your busy schedule. The seminar today is an occasion of very high significance. For Maldives, climate change is an, an existential threat. In the last COP26 summit, President Ibrahim Mohamed Tolin and Minister Shauna has revealed to the world leaders that the harsh realities faced by Maldives due to climate change. I must emphasize that Maldives is one of the most vulnerable countries to the impact of climate change Yet it shows unwavering commitments to advocating the effective, bold actions to address the global climate cha challenges. As widely recognized, climate change has caused a number of global and local challenges. Notably, Maldives have been confronted with sea level rise and disastrous coastal erosion rapid industrial development of ports and harbors and reclamation projects over the recent years are also big factors to accelerate the erosion. Policy making and planning of integrated coastal zone management, ICZM, key topic of the seminar today is required to protect lives and properties of the general public in Maldives from the immediate threat of coastal erosion. ICCM is a dynamic process to promote sustainable management of coastal zones. It aims to the coordinated application of the different policies affecting the coastal zone and related to activities such as environmental protection, fisheries, agriculture, tourism, development of infrastructure, and mitigation and adaptation to climate change. It enables compatibility between protection and sustainable development of coastal zones. Effective implementation of ICZM necessitates the informed participation and cooperation of all stakeholders to assess 
the societal goals in a given coastal area and to make actions towards meeting these objectives. In Maldives, coordination between a variety of government organizations is vital, while assistance from international donors and partners is also required. To this end, Japan is determined to lead the way in addressing climate change and sustainable management of coastal zones, and it's ready to fully support Maldives on this endeavor. In this opportunity, I must also highlight that environment, climate change, and disaster management is one of the Japan's pillar of a development assistance to Maldives. Japan supports wholeheartedly the efforts of Maldives to confront the issue of climate change and is eager to work with the Maldives to help build climate resilient future. Before concluding, I'd like to convey my heartfelt appreciation to the all distinguished guests for joining this seminar. I hope this seminar could promote interagency understanding of ICZM and pave the way to strengthen the coordination between central and local authorities in Maldives. I also expect further cooperation of implementing agencies in Maldives with JICA specialists team for forward-looking policy making and planning for ICZM by maximizing findings from these seminars. Thank you very much. Shukriya.